Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome once again to another cassad match from Golden League 2 uh, Stage 3 of Meta Combat where the top 4 sieves for each map were banned by our pro players and here we have on the loser's brackets who loses this set is out of the tournament the Muslim playing on the color yellow as the Basa Dynasty and Vortex on the Mongols in the color blue and the map is Baltic huge fishing so i'm i still don't know what's the difference between balting and Med mediterranean it's like you have this it's like the uh s surround the surrounding uh resources deposits i'm actually not sure if you guys are sure between the difference of balting and mediterranean tell me i think they just changed the name because people were confusing the map with the biome right was something like that I'm not sure guys, let me know. And remember guys that EGCTV is also hosting and casting this tournament on their own Twitch channel. EGCTV on Twitch, use the link in the description down below every Saturday and Sunday 15 GMT. I'm also live every day casting and playing Age of Empires 4. Use the link tree or the link in the description down below to reach me live on Twitch. And I've seen a lot of people picking Mongols here on this off-meta combat on the water maps. They just seem really, really good. I don't know why though. They, they are good, but I, I don't have an, a conclusive answer to you or why are they so good. Because perhaps you don't need to build houses as the Mongols, so you can use everything on wood to go for that fishing dock. Then you can go for double production, plus all the food that you have and make big armies. You can go for those a double, a double spear metagame, right, to deny your opponent dock. Bro, I think that's it actually. You you, you you do like Vortex, you match the dock, the opponent dock, and when you can, you go for the Ovu, double spears, all the way there, and destroy. I, yeah, I think this is the same map. I think, I think they just uh, changed the name because people was confusing it with the biome. But let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you know. I will appreciate that. Remember that Abbasid do have cheaper docks. So they can spam docks on Baltic. We have seen some matches where players... Just, where like... You see this over here? There is some spawns of this map where this is more like... Common. Uh, around here the map. Like this spawn is very roundish actually. You only have like this one peninsula or whatever. But I've, so, I've seen some matches where... You have like, like this but... Another one here, and another one there, and the player just put dock here, the basket player just puts one dock here, one dock here, one dock here, all with naval, uh, naval arrow slits, and they can't, they can't lose the fights here. It's just great, great spot for, for the fights, because then you're healing, you know, because the dock is here, they have huge range. So when that happens, they, they, they put the dock here, and you are fighting like here, and you have healing. And then they have the dock right here, because the land is closer right and they have healing there so it's great moves from the Basid players making use of those cheaper docks okay vortex now going for a lot of wood muslim will aging up with no it is it is the trade wing on a water map let's go if the muslim can uh, put that through that will be amazing Scout chasing away the Khan. He doesn't want Vortex to see this. Did Vortex see this? Because he, he just started to age up right now. So I'm not sure if Vortex saw that the Muslim is going for the trade wing. If the Muslim can get the trade going, it's GG. But look, no, I think Morti Vortex knows. He's going for his own trade, the silver trade. And now, what trade is better? I think in short term is the Mongol trade. But the thing is, from, from here, the traders are so cheap. For the Abbasid player. It's 40-40. Here it will be 40-30. As in... For, no, 60-30. It will be 60 wood, 30 gold. While on the Abbasid player it will be 40 gold, 40 wood. So... I think mm, Abbasid is better, right? The thing is you can double produce with... Uh, near the Ovu, right? But I'm not sure if Vortex will do that. Is he queuing up any traders immediately? No. 
Muslim still 30 seconds to go. Remember, the Basket player cannot rush their edging up. They need to wait a little bit. Double block for both players. Military ships already queued by Vortex, not by the Muslim. He's in instead going for a third dock. Not using the wood for military on the water. This can be disastrous. Because Vortex will start to accumulate. A military lead. Oh, he can't. That's true, he can't. Because he's not still... He's still... Now he's age 2. But he wasn't. And we don't see... Tra no, we see... Oh, they automatically spawn. That's true. Three traders. Oh, and he's walling up. That's what he needs to do to protect the trade. There is no land units for Vortex. He cannot perturb the trade. Does he know about the trade? No, right? The Khan will know. The Khan will see that he aged up with the trade wing. You can see that. The Khan wants to take down a villager or two. Oh, let's go. The Muslim now with some aquatic defense. Okay, good game so far. The Muslim? Yes. Only two boats against three of Vortex. I think Vortex is pulling him in for a trap. Yeah, good damage there. The Muslim boats are very, very hurt. Muslim going for double broad axe. But no more boats in queue. He does not, he does not have enough wood. Is he making more traders? No. Let's see these traders. 66 gold, not bad. He'll then make a market over there. But he can't right now because the Khan is there and Vortex will know about the trade. Four boats for Vortex, only two for the Muslim. The third one is in queue though. Scout will go down. Bye bye. Vortex now queuing a demo ship. That could end the game. If the demo ship takes those two boats out. Demo ships are super effective against. I think that's it because look, three Bagalas. The demo ship is super effective. He takes down those three or those two, and then the rest. Oh no! Where is the demo ship? It's coming in the back. Muslim, don't let this happen. You need to protect your Bagalas. Oh, here we go! Demo ship comes through. The Muslim is running away. Will it happen? Ah, oh, nice. It did not happen. The Muslim's safe though. His Bagalas are safe. Let's go. Time to pay back. But the fishing eco is being targeted. Now, demo ship chasing Vortex forces. Also, kind of a dud. Good fight on the water. The Muslim with six boats. M no, the Muslim with four. Vortex with six. He has advantage. That's true. He's, everything is there. He's winning, he's winning, GG gets called. Damn, that was a fast one. GG gets called, the Muslim loses the water. He knows that from here now on, the Mongol player has the advantage. And that's GG gets called. Guys, if you enjoyed this game, watch more on the channel. Thank you very much for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. And i see you on the next one.